Hi, today is Monday the 5th and we are looking now at the 4 hour chart. This is the ASPX outlook and as you can see this market has been going crazily bullish and it's now aiming for a strong resistance on 40, 60, 65. It should bump here because it's been really really too wild. The slight retracement we had on the 30th was so minimal and of course we can attribute this buying frenzy to the second stimulus package going into infrastructure to another two trillion dollars this is crazy if we look at tnx the rates are going up and this should not have a positive impact on as you can see 169 170 we are back at 10-year rates or yields pre-COVID. I mean, this is, we, we have a ton of debt, bonds are falling, and it's just a matter of time before it takes its toll on equities as well. I don't know where the market is going. My normal attitude is go with the flow. So we have to keep a bullish bias to our trade. By the way, I won't record a weekly recap. I did absolutely nothing last week. And this week, I may just do a tiny risk reversal on May and start winding down April. I mean, nothing much really. So the trades are safe as they are. It's a, it's a little bit frustrating on June because the June entry uh, didn't put it on f on Thursday. Friday markets were closed. Today, I believe the volumes will be limited because European markets are closed. So I would rather wait for Tuesday. And there may also be a new information when uh, the market punters, market participants read the FOMC minutes. There are no special news today, so basically it should be a fairly quiet day and probably going on the same bullish momentum. So let's look at this four hour chart. The chart is bullish and if I look, we are probably around stall level here. Strong resistance, as I said, is about here. And if the market was to race, we cannot anticipate any reversal. The last top was here on 4000 and we have some short term fib supports here. The strongest one being on 3982 which is good support but if we look the the pivot is actually much lower. So the range has expanded but we shouldn't see I mean I would be very much surprised if the market really reverses hard in the next day or so so on this one quite bullish i would suppose that market will have to take a breather at some point but if it does it will not go below 3982 i believe there's all there's also on this longer pattern a fib on 3975 so this may this may be the strong support area at the moment if we look Although I don't really pay much attention to the daily chart, but I mean, here it's also very bullish. And we also see that this is the same strong resistance here on 4060. So nothing much to say here. It is just a little bit too crazy for words, really. I must actually push this all time highs to here now. Okay, so bullish for how long? I don't know. There's definitely a channel here. It's quite erratic to be honest. So let's forget about this and let's move to the one hour chart so this is the trend for today we see the, the coincidence of a strong resistance here on 4060 and uh, i believe market punters will also look at it and maybe start taking profits or at least the bullish momentum should fade out in this resistance area and as i said today if it goes down to 4008 that would be to me the biggest retracement work and one one can anticipate here as well the strongest support is on 39.82 and this is actually if we look at the pivot here pivot is actually on 39.85 so this, as i said on the four hour chart this is about the same here the very strong support area lies around here range has expanded so strong support is a bit lower now but as a, uh, it's, it's still no big deal it would just mean that this bullish excursion based on news i mean the this the tax breaks from donald trump are being reversed we all remember early to 2017 when trump came to power and the market got a big boost from the tax breaks so why don't <laughs> Don't we see any reversal on this? So I think maybe the big institutions are waiting for earnings to confirm or not whether their bullish bets is warranted or not. So I would say bullishness, herd effect on liquidities, but really, unless there's a big surprise on the M4MC minutes, unless there's a big surprise on earnings, the reversal or 
profit taking should be delayed a little bit further. So we see the strong supports here. As I said, maybe just below 4,000, but no big deal. Nothing to really to expect today, unfortunately. Okay, that is it for now. So as I said earlier, no uh, weekly recap, probably uh, more frequent updates on Slack. I will start looking at entering June. June is now being entered in a much lower volatility environment. Not very exciting. Maybe now we are 74 DTE. I may wait a little bit longer to see volatility coming back. At this point, the volatility is not enticing at all. As usual, thank you for watching. Uh, more updates on Slack and, and bye for now.